right, number five says Tiffany has a goal to complete a triathlon. Um, the race consists of a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, 26.2 mile run. Um, in training, Tiffany can swim an average of 1.2 miles per hour, um, rides a bike uh, average of 20 miles per hour, 20.8. And then she runs uh, 4.8. We're going to estimate how long will it take her to complete this athlon. So we're going to round all these um, values and we're going to set up proportions to get these numbers because they don't all match. So the swim um, is 2.4. We're going to round that swim to 2. So that's what she has to do, 2.0. Um, and it tells us that in training, she can swim 1.2 miles. So we're going to round that to one. So she can swim one. Uh, I think I might be sending this up backwards. She can swim one, but the race, she has to do two. So you yeah, need to flip this. Okay. So she has to swim two miles. She can swim one per hour. So if I divide these, it's going to take her two hours to, com to complete the swimming part. So this is swimming. Okay. Um, she rides a bike an average of 20 miles per hour. So I'm going to put uh, what she does on the bottom. She can do 20. And she has to ride the bike. I'm going to round that to the nearest 10. So I'm going to say 110. So she has to do 110 miles. She can do 20 per hour. So if I do this division, it goes in there 5.5 times. So it's going to take her about 5.5 hours to do the bike ride. And then um, the running, she runs 4.8. So she can do 5, roughly 5 miles per hour. And she has to run 26.2, so around to the nearest total number. Uh, let's see, 26. And if we divide that, we get 5.2. So if I add up all these numbers, 2.0, we get 10, 11, 12.7. So it's going to take her about 12.7 hours to complete this triathlon. This is the way they want you to set it up. Set up um, proportions so you can find out how much she has to do divided by how much she can do in that time frame and that'll tell you how long it's going to take her. I'm getting 12.7 roughly. Okay, so they don't like it. Um, let me try the same thing with these new numbers. So what the race consists of, a one, I'm going to say a one mile swim, what, what she has to do, um, 25 mile bike ride, let's just say 20, they're, they're probably going to round it down to the nearest 10, so let's just say 20, maybe that's where I messed up at, um, and then uh, the run is six miles, so we would say six. This is the bike, and this is the running. Okay, so this is what she has to do, one mile. Um, it's in training. She can swim two miles per hour. So it's going to take her a half hour to complete the swimming. Biking, she can bike 20. So it's going to take her one hour, roughly, to do the biking. And then running, she runs six. So it's going to take her one hour to do this. So I don't remember if I did this the right order the first time, but um, what she has to do on top, what she can do on the bottom, reduce. And so this one looks like about 2.5 hours to complete this marathon. 2.5. 
2.5. Okay, so not really sure what I did the first time, but um, all right. So six, same type of problem. Got a marathon. You just gotta be careful when you're rounding these numbers. 2.4 miles swim. So I'm gonna put just two up here for her swim. bike ride. I guess I'm around it to 100. I don't know. Uh, and then the bike ride 26. Trying to make the easiest unit. All right. And then she can swim 1.8. So she can swim too. So it's going to take her one hour to do the swimming. Bike ride. And then running. The bike ride. She can ride roughly 20 miles per hour so it's going to take her about five hours to do the biking and then her running she can run 5.9 which is about six six goes into 26 four times what's two left over so two over six so let's use the calculator to do Twenty six divided by six. And maybe they want us to round that to the nearest ten. Maybe I should round that to twenty. Twenty. Mm, or thirty. Round up to the nearest ten. Let's do that. Whatever is easy, because this is taking a lot of work. So we're going to round this up to the nearest 10. So I'm going to round this up to 30. And goes in there five times to make it easy. It's a whole number. So we're going to say roughly 11 hours. And I think it really depends on what you round it to. They don't tell you exactly, but you want to do what's going to be the easiest. And so I think if I round that to the 10s, it's probably the biggest whole number place that I have, I'll round up. And let's say it's going to take her about 11 hours. So I guess the rule of thumb, round to the biggest place value you have. Okay. So um, maybe that'll get us there. Maybe that's what I didn't do on the number, the first one.